Well, hello everyone, Nona Grace. I've come to talk to you about something that I find kind of funny. I went to the store um, a while back and I wanted to buy external bells and I asked the salesman about external bells for the telephone and he looked at me kind of, kind of like, what is she talking about? And he says, I don't know. And I said, well, do you have phones here? And he said, oh yeah, over there there's some phones. And so I went looking, this little shelf with very few phones. They've got a few phones for the home, but most everybody must use a cell phone. Well, yesterday I had my grandkids over and my one granddaughter, she forgot her cell phone with her dad in the truck and um, or she left it at her bedroom. She wasn't sure. So I said to her, here. How about if you call him? She took the phone, she looked at it, and she wasn't quite sure what to do. I said, haven't you ever used a house phone before? And she said, no, she hadn't. She almost thought I was giving her the remote to the TV. They sort of look alike. Yeah, they do, but they're a little different. So I had to tell her to push talk, put it up to her ear, and wait for the dial tone. When she heard the dial tone, then she could dial her number and then wait because it was going to ring and it went to his machine, it went to his voicemail and she was ready to hang up. And I said, no, 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 you have to leave a message because it will show restricted call. It will, he will have no clue who called him because I guess with the cell phones, it says who called, who's the missed call from, but this, it doesn't say it. So you have to, you have to leave a message. Well, that was one of the things that was kind of funny. But then my, my other grandkids were playing telephone, and they asked if I had any phones for them to use. And I, of course I have phones around the house. I have toy phones and I have real phones. So I gave one of my children this phone, which has the buttons, which is fine. And I gave the other one this phone, that has the dial. And he says, how do you use that one? So I showed him, I said, well, you pick up the dial, pick it up, pretend you have a dial tone, then you dial your number and you put your finger in the little hole and you let it go. So he was putting his finger in the hole and following it back. I said, no, you can't follow it back. It might give you a different number. So they were pretending to dial the phone and they thought it was kind of fun. Remember when we used to polish our nails and you couldn't do the phone, you had to use a pencil? I don't have a pencil here, so I can't show you. Well, yes I do, I've got a pen. Hold on, I'll get a pen. Or something, so you didn't want to mess up your nails. So you would pick up the phone and you would dial with the pen and you used to feel like a movie star because that's how they did it on TV. They had their nails so beautiful and they didn't want to mess their, they didn't want to mess their nails. Then this one was kind of fun because when you dialed this one and you heard the dial tone and, you went, and every, every time you pushed a button you heard a boop, 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 which was kind of fun. So those were the phones that they were playing with and the one they used to actually call. Then I went looking around the house. I can't find my original um, house phone that was my first mobile phone. This is, this is the one I have now. It's, it's, kind of, it's not connected so I can walk around. These I was connected and could not go any further than the cord. And I had some pretty long cords on both ends. I had the, the plug-in cord, I had an extra long one. So I could go almost anywhere in the house, but I had to stay plugged in. Where this one I don't have to plug in. But anyway, then there was this little, um, these were the first, one of the first cell phones. And it's a kind of cute, kind of big. And you would talk on it, but you had to raise your little antenna. And the base to charge these was like a little, it's got a real heavy thing here. If you had to put the phone somehow, all right in there, you had to go right into the cradle, but you had to move your clip out of the way. And you had to put it in the cradle to charge it, like the house phones with the cradle. Then... I went to, I, I use the house phone, but then I, I needed a little track phone. So I got one of the little track phones that you lift the thing up 
And this one, I don't think it has a camera. Oh, maybe yes, it does. This one has a camera. I was kind of lucky. But you had to push the buttons. Then I thought, you know, I'd like one of those phones that everybody swipes with. So then I got another track phone. I don't even know how to turn it on. There we go. Oops, I have a missed call. Ignore. I don't know who it was. But anyways, you have the little thing and you could, whoops, and you could swing. Well, you guys all know probably how to use these more than I do. Because when it rings, I say, how do you even answer this? Because I don't know how to answer these as well. Because when you swipe your finger, if it's not swiped just right, it, it, it's gone. By the time I get it out of its case and try to use it, it's gone. It's so much easier to just pick up the phone and say, hello. It's so much easier. Then, do you remember when we had party lines? Uh, if you had a party, I had a party. I grew up on the party line. So you pick up the phone while oh, somebody's talking, so you put it down real quiet. Hope they didn't hear me, but they did. I'm sure they did. So you'd wait a while. You'd wait a little longer. Hmm, let me see if they're there. So you'd kind of lift the thing, put your finger on the button, and lift it up real quiet. Oh, and they're still talking. So you'd put it back down real quiet again. Okay, you waited and waited, but you really needed to use the phone. It was important, so you'd have to pick it up and say, Excuse me, um, could I use the phone? And they'd say, Oh, sure. And so you'd hang up. Then you'd wait again, and hoping that they did hang up. So then you'd wait maybe five minutes, ten minutes. Hopefully they could say goodbye in that length of time. And then you'd pick it up again, and, uh, and they're still there, so you hang up. And you wait some more. Finally, they're off the phone. And so you pick it up and you could dial whatever you needed to dial and talk to whoever you needed to talk to. Then you want to call your neighbor. So the only way to call your neighbor, you pick up the phone, dial their number, and hang it up. And you'd hear, bring, 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 bring. And when it stopped bringing, you'd pick it up and, hello? and hope that they picked theirs up, because if they hadn't, you're going to wait now. They didn't pick up. I picked up too soon. Oh, yes, hello. And then you could talk. And when you were done, you could hang up. So that's what the party line was like. Well, we had a party line for years. Then all the neighbors around us got private lines, and we still had what was called a party line. I remember the day when the, the phone company came in, and they said to my mother, I'm sorry. But we have to switch you to a semi-private phone. Which means we are coming to take your old phone. But my mother liked her old phone. It was a real, it was like the dial phone. But it was older than this one. This one's one of the newer ones. It was real heavy when you moved it. It would not, it had fallen several times. But it was a sturdy phone. It didn't fall apart. And they took it. And she said, oh, oh, but I like my cord. And she had an extremely long cord. And they're hardwired in. They're not like, well, this one looks like the kids pulled the wires, thinking they could unplug it. Some of them you can unplug. This one you couldn't. They were hardwired in. You couldn't unplug them. So the guy had to tear her phone apart, tear this part apart to get her nice long cord that she had a really long cord and put it on the new phone that he gave her. She never liked the new phone. Um, it was a... It wasn't a dial phone anymore. Then it was a push-button phone. They came back and they said, I'm sorry, but you can't have the semi-private line anymore. We're discontinuing those two. You're going to have to go with private line. So we ended up with a private line, even though we had a private line with the party line price for a long time. So that was my experience with the phone. So when you hand the phone to the kids and say, here, you can call your dad. I might look at it a little strangely and think, hmm, how does this thing work? <laughs> yeah, you have to push talk, wait, then dial. And when you're all done, you have to push end. Otherwise, it's just going to keep, you go to hang it up, it's going to go beep, 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 and you'll hear this, this crazy noise because it won't be turned off. So that's the, the story about the phones. We had a lot of phones. 
and a lot of, uh, I remember my number when I grew up. I can tell you my telephone number when I grew up because it doesn't, it's not my number anymore. But we used to go, Osborne, Osborne, that was, it used to be a joke too. Osborne, and then you go Osborne 2 or Osborne 3 or Osborne 4, but it was Osborne, Osborne. We didn't say OS or we didn't say, what's the numbers, um, 6, 7. We didn't say six seven. We said Osborne. Osborne. Yep, that was what we said. Well, that's the end of the phone story. I hope you enjoyed it. I will try and make another video. I had a few questions about keto, but I really think the people that want to know how to do keto, go to Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom. She has a, good, a lot of good advice and she has like Sarah's class every day. It's kind of like a class. She tells you something all the time that you need to know and go to um, go to um, 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 wait a minute, I forgot. Oh my gracious I just watched her. Um, go to Tammy and the Keto Chaos and go to Debbie's Keto think is what she's called. Let me get the thing. I can tell you. I watch all these people. I watch them every day. I, in fact, yesterday I was waiting for a video and waiting and waiting and waiting and finally one oh came on. Friend. Whoops, there she is. Whoops. Hi, my friends, she says. Because I just got done watching her. Um, Miss Tammy. But um, Debbie Does Keto. That one's a good one. Debbie Does Keto. She has a lot of smart stuff that she tells you also. And then there's another one that I watch, and it's keeping, or keto keeping it simple, I think. Let me see, I'll click on her. What's it called? Yeah, keto keeping it simple is what it is. My iPad only shows me part of the name. Unless I click on it, I don't see the whole thing. So if you really want to know about keto, and she has a lot of recipes. Keto keeping it simple, she does a lot of cooking and great ideas there. Sarah tells, describes her foods and what she's eating, and her, her description of the food is so darn good. And Tammy actually shows you pictures, too, of her foods and what she's eating and what she has had. And, and it's really, there's, those are the people to go to. And then I go to, to Dr. Berg. I listen to him. Dr. Eric Bergman. Berg. Dr. Berg. Because there is a Bergman that I listen to, Dr. Bergman. He's, he's a whole different story, but... Um, I listen to him, but Dr. Berg is the keto person. And that's and anybody else that does keto, I'm sure they'll have some information that you'll find very informative. But I just I am the I'm I'm a sloppy keto, and I'm a grazer. I I start at four o'clock. I end at seven. Now, like I've had my cheese, I've had a cup of coffee. Now a little later, I might make myself. Some sweet, some um, spinach, but the spinach I mix it with two eggs, and I put a lot of cayenne pepper in it. I like everything hot, and I'll put some salt in it, and I'll beat it up real good. And I'll put a little bit of, I have bacon fat, so I will add some bacon fat because I like that. Or if I didn't have any, I would add um, coconut, oh, coconut oil, and then I'd stir it up real good, and then I put it on a pan. And I used to make little tiny pancakes out of it, and I called them leprechaun pancakes when I had the daycare. The kids would eat it because I tell them it was mine; they couldn't have it. And I would pick up the little pancake and I'd eat it. It's a, it's like a finger food, and I still eat it with my fingers. I don't want to cut it. It's just too tasty to, and it's crispy. So I would put that on a on a pan that's it's a square pan. And I let it cook real good on the one side. Then I flip it over and let it cook on the other side. And it gets, it dries it out quite good. And then I cut it like a pie. And then I eat the whole can myself with the two eggs in it. So that I would eat. And then if I was still hungry late, a little later, if my time is still not done, then I might have, I have turkey burgers. I always cook turkey burgers. I have some of those in the fridge. And I also have cabbage that's cooked in, um, in beef stock so you can eat cabbage if you um, are still hungry a lot of times I'm not hungry and then I might have some more cheese I'm um, some more um, like either provolone cheese the sharp provolone and I cut a hunk off or I'll have some cheddar cheese so that's what I do I'm a grazer I'm not I don't really there's very rare that I will put 
the meal on the table and just eat that. I might on Saturday or Sunday when I'm home, but on the weekday, I have things prepared, and so I just, when I feel like eating, I eat. And my husband is doing keto too, so if he's hungry, he eats. If he's not, we just let it be. So I've got a lot of free time now with the food business, other than when my grandkids come. It was every three hours we were feeding them, and it, we had did, done more dishes, and more dishes, and more food, and more dishes, and more food. It was just a lot of monkey shine, a lot of time spent in the kitchen. Well, I thank you for coming by, and I hope you enjoyed my telephone, and I'll pretend I'm talking to you now. Oh, yes, okay, I'm so glad you came. I'm so glad you called, too. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.